over a little bit of mental math with you and some of the things that we have been doing. A lot of you really enjoy doing mental math. Some of you really enjoy doing math on paper. And it's really good that we learn how to do both. So what we're going to do right now is going over a few ways to help you mentally add 10. So I'm going to write something down here. The first one looks like this. And then I'm going to write a few more. And we will go over these. If we were at school, I'd be writing these on the board or using our dot cam. Kind of miss doing that, you guys. So here are some numbers that we are going to go over when it comes to using mental math. Here is what I'd like you to do. I want you to add 10 mentally by just adding the one to the number in the tens place. So I'm gonna go underneath and put a line under each number in the tens place. So if you are just going to add a 10 mentally to the five, I'm gonna add that 10 to the five. So I'm just adding one more 10 in the tens place. So instead of having five groups of 10, I'm going to add one more group. That will give me how many? Six groups of 10. So now I will have, did you guess? 760. Now, that one was easy because we were using decade numbers. We were adding groups of 10. This one is a little bit different. This says 628 plus 10. Shouldn't be hard though, because we're just adding another group of 10 to the two. So if we have two groups of 10, and we add one more group of 10, instead of having 628, one more added to two, two would be three. So, do you have it down? I always like to wait, because I want you to do the thinking. Your answer should have been 638. See how you just added that 10, that group of 10 to the two that were already there? That brought it up to three groups of 10, 30. Three groups of 10 now would be 638. Okay, the next one, 586 plus 10. Remember, I have the little line underneath the eight, which is where our tens place is. If we just add one to the eight, or add one, and thinking in your mind, adding one more group of 10 to the eight that are already there, now that would give me nine, right? So now I have, 596. So I have one more. This might get a little bit harder. Let's see what this one is going to say. This one is 792 plus 10. So I want you to think for a minute. What is different about this problem versus the other three that we did? How is this exercise different from the three we just did? I want you to look at that and think about it. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Okay. Some of you may have known the answer, some may not, but I'll tell you. We can't just add one to the nine, can we, in the tens place? That little trick is not going to work this time. So we've got to figure out what we are going to be doing. So I will show you. So we are going to look how many 
groups of 10 do we have in this problem? Well, really, we have 79. We've talked about that before. We have 79 tens, okay, plus the 2. So we had 79 groups of 10 plus the 2 in the ones place, plus we're going to add the 10. So now we're going to add the 10 there. So how could we make this easy on ourselves? Do you remember how we've always talked about when you have some numbers that you need to add up together, if you have some numbers that you can add together that will make a new 10, then always do that one first. So I am going to choose the 79 and the 10. So if I add 79 and I'm adding the 10 to that, another 10, group of 10, now how many groups of 10 do I have? Not 79 anymore, now I have Let's look at what happens. Now I have 80 groups of 10. Look at that. Now I have 80 groups of 10. Plus, don't forget about our little friend here, that little two. So I have 80 groups of 10 plus the two ones that we have not used yet. So, 